So hi everyone, today I'd like to talk about Smith & St. Clair Eat Your Drink Cocktail Gummies. I was sent two complimentary samples on behalf of the brand and uh, Pop Sugar Dabble community. So I was sent two gummies, as I mentioned, and a little note card. Um, these are cocktail gummies, so they do contain alcohol. According to the note card, they contain 5% alcohol per volume. Um, they're made with natural flavorings and syrups, and they are gluten-free and vegan as well. You're supposed to have two per serving according to the information that I read. I was sent two, uh, two of course, and this one is the Prosecco Mandarin Spritz. And I was also sent one that was a rum passion fruit mojito. I'm sorry that picture came out so blurry. But I tried the rum passion fruit and um, it actually wasn't too bad. They were quite large. I was surprised. Um, they're about the size of a quarter and they're covered in sugar. It wasn't too bad, so stay tuned. So hi everyone, as I mentioned, today I'm talking about Smith & St. Clair's cocktail gummies. So this is the ones that I have. As you can see, I opened the mojito one as I explained. I'm going to have the spritz one right now with you guys. But um, it did contain just a basic little note card, like a bookmark style card. And as I mentioned, um, according to the back of the little card, they are uh, made with high quality spirits, fresh fruits, herbs, and syrups. They're garnished with sugar. They're vegan, gluten-free, and 35 calories. I forgot to mention that. And the price point for the entire box, because they are sold in a set of eight, uh, is $24 US. Um, this particular one, they have a variety of boxes. This one is the party selection. So this box includes two of the following. It includes a pineapple bellini, elderflower gin spritz, uh, mandarin spritz and the passion fruit mojito um, from my research Smith and St. Clair also sells mocktail gummies as well and other items so I've linked uh, the information in the description below for Smith and St. Clair and um, the pop sugar dabble community if anybody wants to join them um, they're free it you every once in a while they'll send out emails and you can try different things this was unique I can say I've never had a cocktail gummy before um, for the passion fruit mojito I linked two posts that I had shared via Instagram um, also in the description so you guys can see what the gummy look like up close of course and I actually took a bite out of it so you guys could kind of I could give you guys a first impression of what it tastes like I liked it um, again according to the information that I found you're supposed to have the serving sizes too because apparently it does have 5% alcohol per gummy um, I didn't have any reactions shall we say after having the gummy um, I did have a warming sensation but that's usually what I what that's usually my body's reaction to what happens when I have rum it wasn't anything too um, overwhelming it didn't have an odd aftertaste it tasted like passion fruit but I thought it was going to be a little more red. I don't know why. The gummy itself, it was yellow in the image and I thought it was going to be a little redder. I just don't know why, but I did. Um, overall, it was good. They didn't stick to my teeth. The sugar that they used to coat it, which I'll show you with the other one I'll open right now in just a second, isn't a thick sugar. It must be kind of like a baker sugar or the sugar they use sometimes to line cocktail glasses. So it, excuse me, it's not it's not gritty it's not really thick when you bite into it you know it's there but you don't get it like all over the place um so let's try this mandarin spritz i've never had a prosecco before so this is going to be kind of a first time for me um, and again according to the information you're supposed to have two and like with any alcoholic containing item you should use these responsibly. Oh, this one's actually more of a yellow. So this is what the Prosecco gummy looks like, the package. Um, it's a yellow, as you can see, the sugar is on there. Um, it smells a little bit like orange, or mandarin anyways, but you can smell the alcohol. It's not too overwhelming, but you do have a note of it. I noticed with the rum one, when I bit into it, you tasted more passion fruit and then you had the spice 
of the rum. I don't know what Prosecco tastes like, so we'll go ahead and try this together. Oh my god. This tastes kind of like those orange slice candies. For anybody who's ever had an orange slice gummy, this is what it tastes like. Oh. Mmm. You do get the hint of the alcohol at the end for this one. Um, it's different. I could see somebody giving this as a gift. Again, the box retails for $24 US. Um, they have a variety of options. This was from the party selection. They also have um, one that's like an after dinner cocktail box and other types of items as well. And then they do have non-alcoholic gummies too. And I think they have like drink mixes and stuff too. Um, hmm. It's different. It's very different. But I could see that this would be a good gift for somebody that's a cocktail lover. Um, for somebody that just would like to give it as a housewarming gift, a birthday gift, anything like that. So I thought I'd share this with you guys. Um, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye.